Hey traders, Nick Sheen here looking at Bitcoin. I don't trade it. I'm helping out a couple of friends. Um, obviously in the news always, especially today with Facebook's uh, Libra discussion, etc. So silly reason to trade Bitcoin on Facebook. It's just, uh, you know, initial shock. Yes, I get it. But now tick for tick is ridiculous. Okay, so because the, the issue at hand with the politicians is Facebook's trust, not Bitcoin's viability or the coin's viability. It's Facebook's trust anyway. Uh, the fact that Facebook wants to main, make it mainstream on its side should be validation to cryptocurrency in general. Um, so talking about Bitcoin, so what do I do? Do I bail or whatever? So the short term chart is not going to tell me much except that they just lost, lost footing here. Um, let me see if I can expand to 120 minute candles. No, I'm going to go to um, a daily candle and see what happens there. All right. So a lot. <laughs> um, if I'm long and I haven't booked my profits here a i'm a pig b unless i really want to be long for years um, b it's falling into a level where i don't start shorting or i don't bail right now um, i could argue for potential support but then again when i say support in bitcoin i mean it moves so much it's down 10 percent right now uh, that uh, it's a relative term right so i have to uh, just there are no hard line in the sand because it moves so fast. It's a momentum. Uh, so one thing we just lost is this one, right? And then this was a pivot point. Um, and I could argue that this was a pivot point up here. So, uh, you know, resistance at one point, and then they finally busted through it. This is of late, last year into this year. Um, and, um, you know, they broke through it, and then they validated it by, you know, past resistance becomes forward support, uh, which is getting tested. So technically, yes, we lost it, but A, the market's still open, and B, it's really a zone because this is a fast-moving thing. So if I were to tell you where the zone is, um, this would be a comfortable zone. So down to 9-ish is not a game-changer if I'm riding the rally. So if I'm riding this rally, halfway through, is about this line, right? If I'm eyeballing it correctly, this is about 50%. What is that, Fibonacci guy? You've heard of him? Okay, so they say half back or halfway test, 50% retracement, whatever you want to word it. It's still part of normal operating procedure. So usually when I get a rally, they get a burst, they dip a little bit or go sideways, and then to finish the job, something like this. So if this is leg one, this is okay, this would be leg two. I'm not forecasting that, but I'm saying that I wouldn't stop being long if I still am long and I didn't book. Now we have lower highs bumping along a, uh, so it's, now it's a wedge, lower highs bumping along a floor. If the floorboard gives and this happens, then, you know, we have to reconsider uh, the secondary support zone, which would be somewhere around here. So just under eight. So through nine, I'm okay. If that's lost, then a little bit lower than eight will still be okay. And if I wanted to hard another zone below it is this one right here. Uh, so it's almost like a thousand at a time. It works out that way. But again, the point of this video is if I'm reacting, if I didn't book anywhere here, now is not the time to book or bail on losses or start shorting because this is a decision-making zone. What happens here? Is it a bounce or is it a short? So I would chase the breakdown. Um, and uh, so it'll be just a zone to watch for now. Um, again, usually when I see action like this, I like to book often and then re-engage. So when I see this and I'm long, I usually book. And then I re-engage higher. Well, you know, miss out on a few bucks and I'll miss out on potentially this. All right, Nick signing out. Again, I have no dog in this fight, so I really don't care which way it goes. Bitcoin, in essence, people say, what is it? What the heck is it? It's no different than gold to me, or cash even, because people. the only reason that gold has any value whatsoever is because people want it. That's it. Um, same with Bitcoin. People want it, and it's, it could be pet rock. People want it. It's going to have value. Uh, you know, stars up in the sky. People buy them. That's, that's why they have some value. Uh, the fact that it's expensive that just means that there are very few of them and uh, too many people want them. Uh, so the Facebook issue just brings it to light. I would like the Libra coin because it would be stable because it's pegged against three major currencies, I think, three or four, uh, including the dollar and the euro. So it would be a one-to-one one -one relationship, I think they would set it to begin. So 
it's not going to be moving 11% in one day. So it could be considered more of a tender uh, versus this one, uh, which is just an investment. And I have no problem with it going to 100,000. I'm not saying it will, but it could go to zero if people decide, you know what, I don't want any Bitcoin. So this is just a chart. It could be ABC company, I don't care. The, these would be decisions one would make. Long rally, half back test is totally normal. Part of normal price action in this case is exaggerated because it moves so fast.